A new day, a new project. Let's come back with our friend DCO 120M from KK Mono Mini Oscilloscope. And uh, there are some issues about measuring DC. It's a tolerance, of course, in the limits, like they said, 10%. That's absolutely okay. But here we have some shootings, and uh, there are some parts on the board we can fix to have a proper and better measurement. Now we have a pack, a battery pack over there. So the oscilloscope said uh, 13.4, the voltmeter said 12.15, and that's a difference around 9%. So the oscilloscope is measuring with 9% higher value than the voltmeter. Okay, let's try a battery now. It's the same story. We have uh, the average voltage on the oscilloscope and it was 9.04 now on the voltmeter we have 8.17 and uh, as you can see we almost have the same ratio around 9% and uh, to be sure that uh, it's nothing uh, related to the batteries I had my Arduino on and uh, some other power supplies and let's check them too. Let's see if, uh, if they are behaving in the same way. There is a 12 volts power supply straight from the main. You can see the ratio is still there. It's almost the same ratio, around 9%. So 13.6 on the oscilloscope and even 13.4 after a second measurement and it's 0 0.91, so 9.1% difference. Now let's see the, the Arduino, it's supposed to have 5 volts there, and we have 5.06 by uh, the voltmeter, and we have, and we have like um, 5.46 by the oscilloscope. So the ratio is the same, 0.92, Okay, so uh, let's have another power supply here. We're supposed to have there 5 volts and we have 5 volts and another 3.3 .3. and we have those voltages. Now let's see the oscilloscope, it's saying 545 and the other is 357 and it's keeping the same 9% around 9% ratio difference in between well in the meantime a friend of mine Ovidius and all the credits go to him suggested a simple mode a simple modification we have uh, over there you can see it at the very in of the oscilloscope a resistor and that's 1.3 mega ohms so he suggested to have a resistor in series and somehow to bring down the dc voltage and uh, he made the experiment we have some uh, interesting results about let's see so here we have the oscilloscope connected to a power supply, 10 volts, very clear 10 volts. And you see over there the line, the horizontal line on the oscilloscope is exactly at two division from the meter. So it's 10%, the scale was on five volts. And what is happening here? It's a trimmer, a variable resistor exactly at the input, before the input in the oscilloscope. So changing the value of the trimmer of the variable resistor, we can reach exactly the voltage we need, in our case 10 volts. And you can see that very nice on the display there is an RMS value of exactly 10 volts. 
graphically and also on the display and it's 10 volts there 10.7 let's say 10.7 of course and what about the little one exactly 10.7 so it's looking like the mood it's uh, it's doing the job so we have over there around 12.6 volts let's see it on the on the power supply and uh, it's following the power supply very very well and this is more than 9% or 10% limits uh, they advertise so this can be a really nice mood for having a better DC measurement. Okay, 60.7, 16.7 there on the oscilloscope. Well, I really don't know how this resistor will affect the, the bandwidth of the oscilloscope. If it's, uh, if it's uh, working with the same results in, in frequencies or rising the frequencies in fact but this is just an experiment so it's not a final trick or a final mode it's just an idea probably with better equipment like a signal generator another oscilloscope using, used like a reference it can be adjusted for better results in frequency too not only measuring DC voltages but anyway like I said before, it's a kind of mood and for at least for a low DC voltages, it's uh, doing the job. To achieve these results, we finally realized that uh, the value of the added resistor is around 130 kilo ohms. And uh, that can be very easily placed inside the box, inside the case near the original 1.3 mega ohms and somehow it's also respecting the proportion because we have around 9% difference if we count 1.3 mega ohms and we have 1. Point, uh, and we have 130 kilo ohms here it's like almost 10% from the resistance uh, well, this needs to be experimented furthermore to have proper results. But for now, it's interesting and it's looking like it's working. Well, that was for today. Thank you so much for looking. And I hope this is uh, useful for everybody in the hobby region. We are not professionals, isn't that? This is for our fun only. Never forget about this. See you soon with some other projects. Be safe. Bye bye.